Hello everyone. So here, here we are. On, here we are now in the 2020 Toyota Avalon. So this is the original key, and this is the new key. So we will be adding this new key into the car. So to do that, we need to get to into key programming. Toyota. So now we select by type. Toyota collector. This is the new menu. So <clears throat> before doing that, we suggest to identify the key information, the key of information from the original original key because we have one. So click this, connect the KC file one in here. You see that the red light is on. Yeah. So now the function is used to read the key info. So we will take the KC file one out and put the key inside so uh, click OK now it's showing the type this Avalon is a 8A A8 type so here we click OK so now we know it's a 8A key so we click the this smart key menu so this totally sh now shows you how to do that and we click select OK we are, we are doing an add key process, so we are doing this make key with original key. Now disconnect this KC file one and get the get the new Anitoyo and the Toyota data collector on. <coughs> Select. Okay, now we connect it. It's uh, as we said before, this is a 8A, 8A key. Now, please turn ignition on. If it could be turned on, we have this, we have this original key. So I'll just simply turn it on. Now it's on, okay. Now we input the VIN code. This is a 2020 model. And we have, this is made by June. Okay. Confirm the vehicle. Yes. So now turn ignition off and take the key away from the car for at least three meters. So now we put this key out. Okay. Now the key is out. We'll just press the start button once and use this collector. Click it. Just press it here. You see the light is flickering. See now it's now the collecting is done, so it's now calculating on our service. Now we will be choosing the frequency of the key. This varies from this varies from region. So in China, we will be selecting those one of one of those four four three threes. We will select this, and then and then now we choose the function of the third key. Is what did that that depends on the what the third key looks like. So the Avalon because Avalon is a sedan and the and the key is. Have a sedan, sedan icon on it. We click this. Now, <clears throat> now we'll we'll be finding the low low frequency antenna, and then put the put our collector close to it. The the, the antenna on the on the Avalon is located here on the back under the back seats. We will be just we will be just flick it. Just putting this close and then push the start button once and then just look at the look at the screen. If if this is not if this is still showing and the light is not flickering, okay this is done. So now that we can just simply pull out the collector and then put pull KC file one back. Okay. So now we'll be take 
taking the original key back to the car and then just just put it back to case if I want. Okay, so this so we'll take the original key back, put it on, put it inside, and then click OK. Now it's read it has to read the data, so we'll take the take the new key here, put it inside the case if I want, and make sure it has the battery inside. Click OK. Now it's calculating the data from the service, and now you'll be writing writing back to the running back to the key. Okay, so now key so now it's showing key generated successfully. We'll be checking the we'll be checking if this can turn ignition on. So we'll put it right here. Yeah, so add key is a success, but we still need to try the remote. So you can see the remote here is not working, so we'll be so we'll take it back, turn ignition off, turn it back and just write another set of data. So we'll now put the new key back and then try again. Okay, so now key so so now we have generated key again, so we'll be trying the remote again and if the remote is still not working, we'll be just just simply click no again and then then just try it until until it's done. So here so here so now it's done for the Toyota Avalon. So it's a success. So thanks everyone.